So as we roll into the weekend, my fellow agents, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite builds based around the Dark Winter SMG. I know many of you out there are still trying to get the Ouroboros, so in the meantime, this is a great alternative. Now, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. And we are having a giveaway for PlayStation 5 to enter. All you need to do is subscribe here or follow on Twitter, and the winner will be announced December 31st of this year. We are going to jump right into the build breakdown, my friends. Starting with the specialization, you can see I'm using Gunner. The main reason for that is because when I have that equipped, I do have access to the Banshee Pulse, which definitely comes in handy with a build like this. And the specialization also gives you a rate of fire increase. You're going to get some armor on kill. You get a reload speed increase as well. And this happens to be one of my favorites with this style of gameplay. Now, my primary is the Dark Winter. And for those of you out there who do not have this weapon and you are trying to pick it up, it is a PvP exclusive. Exclusive. However, you can also get it from named caches. And the reason this weapon is so effective is because of its talent Perfect Killer, where killing an enemy with a critical hit grants 50% crit hit damage for 10 seconds. And once again, if you do not have this weapon, just put your favorite SMG here. You could roll with Lady Death. You could use a different SMG with a regular talent killer. That will definitely still get the job done. Now, my secondary is the ACS-12 with the talent close and personal. And with that talent, killing a target within 7 meters grants 30% weapon damage damage for 10 seconds we know 10 seconds in this game is a lifetime and keep in mind a build like this is truly designed for that close quarters combat you are very close to npcs when you're using this so many of these talents should be running non-stop now that is going to bring us to the gear and we are going to start with the ninja bike and as you can see it has the talent resourceful it slots in with any equipped gear set and or brand set item to fulfill a requirement towards unlocking a gear sets bonus can unlock bonuses for multiple sets simultaneously and if you are still trying to farm for this thing. Thankfully, it is in the targeted loot pool, and I recommend hitting up Countdown or the Summit and setting your loot to Backpack. Now, that takes us to the rest of the gear, and starting with the mask, it is the first of three pieces of the Hunter's Fury gear set. But because we are wearing the Ninja Bike, we do get all four gear set bonuses, and that fourth one is Apex Predator, and this is something you've heard me say recently in many videos. For those of you out there who are getting used to a run-and-gun style of gameplay, that talent is going to be incredibly helpful. You can see that enemies within 15 meters receive a debuff, amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20%. Killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon disorients other enemies within 5 meters and amplifies weapon damage by 5% for 10 seconds, stacking up to 5 times, and that disorientation of the enemies, I mean they're flopping around like a fish out of water. So once again, for those of you out there who are getting used to a more aggressive style of gameplay, that talent is definitely going to help you out. Now that takes us to the body armor, which is the one piece of Sokolov we have equipped but again because we have the ninja bike on we are getting two of those brand set bonuses they are 10% smg damage and 15% crit hit damage as well and on this version of the build i am using the talent unbreakable when your armor is depleted repair 95% of your armor and the cooldown is 60 seconds now for those of you that do not need that much survivability you could easily switch that out for a more aggressive talent such as obliterate it is completely and totally up to you now that takes us to the holster and the knee pads and as you can see they are the final two pieces of the Hunter's Fury gear set. Finally we have the gloves. It's the one piece of Walker and Harris and again because of the ninja bike we do get two of those brand set bonuses and on all of these pieces of gear I'm trying to stack crit hit chance and crit hit damage everywhere I can. For my skills I am using the Banshee Pulse as I mentioned earlier and the Assault Drone because it is a great distraction to NPC and puts out damage as well and when we look at my stats you can see I'm at 59% crit hit chance remember the max is 60 and 130 36.8 crit hit damage now that is going to be dependent on not only the gear you have equipped but also having a shade watch of level 1000 that is when the watch is maxed out that is going to have an impact on those percentages my fellow agents i hope this video helps you out and as always if you have any questions comments or feedback please let me know and i will do my best to get back to you as quick as i can most of you know by now that one of my favorite aspects about putting these build videos together is the family that we have here at the channel so as always if you have any tips or tricks you want to pass along to new and returning players please let me know as the main goal is to help out as many people as we can on that note i'm going to leave you with some gameplay footage so you can see the build in action however as always i want to thank you all for your amazing support of this channel i sincerely appreciate the privilege of your time and as i mentioned at the end of every one of these if you happen to be new here feel free to hit that subscribe or join button if you enjoyed this you could hit that like button as well but most importantly 
Take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. to turn the memorial into a base. It's an area beneath you with increased security. Isaac can't access data on this location. Stay alert. I don't know what you're walking into. to keep them from getting more of those mortars.
head back up. The team from the campus is taking position inside the memorial. If you hadn't stopped them, I know they would have used those weapons on us, and we would have ended up like Castle. I can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on our side. Thank you. Today, we dealt a great blow to the True Sun's infrastructure. We confiscated a massive cache of chemical weapons and eliminated a stronghold near the campus. You should be proud. You saved a lot of lives today.